You see, you guys see what Jay is doing right now. He's got something. How how long is this? She's probably about fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen feet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen feet. I never I never filmed with him. Where are you going, girl? Yeah. Um, no, I'm visiting from another preserve. What are you doing, girl? So this snake has a special name. Alright. This snake's name is My Love. My Love. Yeah, it was actually named from a girl. A girl came and visited one of her babies when they were from Italy. She said, What's, what are the name of these two snakes? And, and she said she named this one my love because she just thought it was so beautiful, a little black snake, and, yeah. and uh, it's just you know not so little anymore. But we kept the name because we didn't have a name at the point, so we just let her name it, and, and uh, that's the name. She is my love. She's, Look how she's lived up to the name ever since. She's gorgeous. She's a reticulated python. Um, of course, we ticks get to be the largest snakes in the world. They're the longest snake, and I think probably the heaviest also. But anacondas. Rival it and uh, yeah. anaconda is a boa, not a python. So these are the biggest pythons we've got in the shadow of a doubt. And this is not a normal pattern. It's normally got a pattern all over it. The reticulated name is to do with the pattern. If you go look at anybody walking around with a snake print on right these days, like on their shirts, they're all reticulated pythons, 90% of them. So that's what they're supposed to look like. Yeah. Except this one's patternless and black because it's carrying special genes. She's so sweet. Kind of like some of the beautiful cats you guys have, yes. right? Yeah, those unique genes, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're natural occurring. And the funny part is, is that in a lot of cases, when you have a, an animal that's carrying multiple types of genes, they're the most outbred animals in the world because you genetically got to bring in all these different genetics in order and put them in one snake or one lion or one tiger in order to actually make the pattern reappear. And so in this particular case, this has motley, which is a gene that can't, probably even came from a different area. And it's got uh, golden chocolate that probably came from another area. And then it's got albinism that probably came from another area. So they're very, you know, way outbred and they're beautiful. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous to think that, you know, snakes carry all these crazy genes naturally in the wild, just like the white tigers and the, all yeah. those crazy, what, what are all the morphs of the tigers? You have the royal white bangle, the standard bangle tiger, which is what they all stem from, the standard bangle. The snow white, you know, all white, no stripes, blue eyes, one of my favorites. And the tabby, the golden tabby So tiger. there you go. Now yeah. the snakes, there's literally hundreds and hundreds. I've actually been able to breed by crisscrossing different genetics. I've actually made about 280 or 300 first time ever morphs. Yeah, I've seen some today that I've literally never seen anywhere. Yeah, but you, you won't. It's we insane. have snakes that the only ones in the world exist right here. So it's when insane. she was born, she was real early in the game, but she wasn't the first one in the world exactly like this, but she's beautiful. She's amazing. And her disposition is incredible. But if you can have snakes, not all, uh, They'll all be different in the same clutch, right? Correct. Yeah. So we can we have snakes that can actually have like 280 different types of babies, but they only lay 40 or 50 eggs. So guess what? We have to breed them over and over again to be able to see all the different color phases and patterns and different patterns and different genes that they're carrying. So it's pretty crazy when you think about the diversity of genetics that are in animals. I mean, we always you know talk about evolution and all that. Well, they carry the evolutions and sometimes almost all in just one generation carrying the genes to do it all. <laughs> if, you know, if we were a scientist and we found all these different snakes, it'd take us a while to figure out that they were all the same snake, but, yeah, but now right. we have DNA, we so we're mistake. more advanced. But when all the animals were named, they didn't have DNA, so they didn't even know the things that are related now. Just like the liger, yeah, right? You like got a tiger, liger. a tiger and a lion have, this, have family lines that are generationally have the same genetics and they're, they're basically relatives yeah. and people think that a liger could have never existed but yet they both but a like a tiger and a lion both carry each other's genes which is all a liger is is the full it's fully carrying each other's genes in one generation so yeah. it's yeah, pretty crazy stuff of years of expressing exactly lion so. Tiger. It's awesome. so it's pretty crazy but anyway that's a beautiful snake so you, this yeah. is a little one you guys want to see a big one 
This is a little one? This is a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go see a big one. So we'll we'll have to go grab a big girl for him for you guys to check out. I'm gonna go get one. So Juliet made a video with you, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm did. gonna get the snake that I named after her. Oh, Juliet. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, what? It's struggling, it's not fake. Come on, girl. What? This is amazing. Oh, come on, girl. She's so heavy. Come on, girl. Look at her. Come on, give me a hand for a minute. Not you. What do I even do? She's massive. Man, she's heavy. We've been feeding her a lot the last couple of weeks. And she is massive. So. Oh. That's a snake. Oh my gosh. She's amazing. Try to pick her up. Yeah, right? Like... <laughs> Can you back up, please? Juliet! <laughs> well, what's wrong? <laughs> Juliet! Juliet! You know, Juliet, if she got she got around your liger's neck, your liger would have some problems. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. How much does she weigh? Uh, she weighs about 300 pounds, 275. God, she seems so powerful. Oh, she's solid muscle. So powerful. I think I can handle this. Oh, yeah. I got back up. How do you even maneuver a snake like this? Who's got who? <laughs> Who's got who? Crazy. Juliet, you're amazing. What kind of she? She's a reticulated python, and same as the other one, just different genetics. Come on, girl. Is that a big snake or is that a big snake? Oh my gosh. It's a big snake. <laughs> Woo! Still going. Come here. Let's see here. So go ahead and back up. Grab her. We're going to go that way. We're going to stretch her out. You can see how big she really is. Oh. Back up. Back up. Keep backing. Keep backing. No. There you go. Can you no. guys hear this over there? What is this? <laughs> Yeah, 100%. 100%. Good news is, Juliet's pretty cool. She's been raising her baby. Her mom was raised for a baby. Her mom's mom was raised for a baby. Her mother's mother's mother was raised for a baby. Right here at the Reptile Zoo, these are all captive born and bred. They're not in the wild. They haven't been in the wild. Uh, this one does have a gene that was in the wild eh, not that long ago, relatively, maybe 15 years ago. And uh, it's called Platinum. <clears throat> but she's a beautiful snake. Oh. <laughs> she's really cool. I'm trying like everything that I can, you guys, to control it, and there's nothing that I can do. Did I let you down? So, huh? Did I let you down? No, I'm amazed. <laughs> it's amazing. Because I, you, can control, I, you can control a 500-pound tiger. You can yeah, control right. a 500-pound snake. I'll control my right? snake. You control your tiger. because. <laughs> Those tigers, they don't scare me, but they scare me. <laughs> like, I'm sure that she doesn't make you scared, but at the same no. time, you have a lot of respect for her, right? Yes. <laughs> she just oh shed, she just shed it, so she's got a little bit of shed on her head still. But oh, she's, she's a amazing. big, big girl. Look how fast, too. That's crazy. Every once in a while, she gets, she gets a bad day, just like my wife. I mean, just like I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All animals can have their bad days. It's up to us to respect them. And That's exactly right. Ones. Exactly right. I remember your dad, I asked your dad what I could do. He says, 
Oh, we have enough tigers that somebody will be in a good mood. We'll somebody be... will want to hang out with you. Right, sure. exactly. So we got to do a lot of fun stuff with them, and it was awesome. I had the best time of my life, and uh, that's saying something because it was just a real. You guys have such an incredible array of beautiful animals where I usually I go here and there's a couple beautiful ones and here I go a couple beautiful ones. Your place you have a lot rocks. of beautiful animals here. Thank you. Well, we got me and your dad have something in common. Yes. Old true. age. <laughs> Lots of work trying to do something we love. So yes. we gather up things in our lives and, and try to share with other people and that's what we try to do and it's fun and we love it. So that's part about my job, sharing with people. Exactly. So anyway, she's oh a big gosh. beautiful snake. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing these giant snakes. Totally different. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing more. I will definitely be back at Jay's place. You're gonna put my, you're gonna even, put my channel down below uh, for good luck, right? Yes, gonna put Jay's Jay channel. Jay Prehistoric Pets. Subscribe. <laughs> comment. Uh, amazing. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, she's amazing.